Okay, so what is once again up, everybody on YouTube? This is Two Bros Gaming HD coming straight at you with yet again another video this Tuesday evening right here. I hope you guys are having a good day out there. And I hope you make sure to work hard every single day. Also, do I hope that you watched my latest uploaded video that I uploaded like it's like two hours ago or some. Uh, about a new or some new mods that we actually got in the game of Phantom 2019. Also, this video is gonna be put out there to you because we, once again today, this evening, got some more mods that I'm gonna showcase for you guys in this video right here. So I hope you guys are stoked for that, of course. So let's get right into it right here and let's get into the mods. And let's jump over to the latest because it is some pretty cool features that we do have. For example, the Cranberry BB package, the Lizard GE50, the Lepinky map, the North Pacific Northwest, the Quinlan AB85, and the Metaltech TB package. That is some of the mods that we actually got right now today. I think it's like 10 minutes ago since we got it. I already installed the Cranberry BB package, which is the one that I'm going to go ahead and focus about in this video. It is from Aaron Modding. I don't know who that modder is, but he... Okay, so Oh Jesus, what the Christ. But he's actually modding up some stuff for both you and me right here in the game, which is pretty tremendous. This package do actually contain some different kind of tippers and that is, my fellow friends, pretty insane. For example, we have the Cranberry BB740, which is a potato tipper. The price on this is 37,999 euros. It has a content on 15 or 25,100 liters. But there's addition of a potato case sale, which is pretty dope. Another one is the Cranberry BB790 tipper, which has a price on 42,000 euros. It has a capacity without construction on 26,800,000 liters. Capacity with construction, 40,900 liters. Additional Cranberry 100 years edition. Also, we do have the Cranberry BB900S tipper, which it has a price on 57,000 euro. It has a capacity without construction on 30,200 liters and a capacity with construction on 46,000 liters. Additional side tipper. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think we're gonna go ahead and launch up a safe game right here to showcase this new package for you guys. So let's go ahead and take this, deselect all and select all and let's get into the game. Once again right here guys, if you're not yet a subscriber to the Tubers Gaming HD channel, you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button under this video and then you actually be subscribed. Also, hit the thumbs up if you think this new mod package right here of the Cranberry Tipper is a pretty good addition to the Final Fantasy 2019 game, which I do indeed believe. So, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up, of course, to show your appreciation for the mod creators out there on the market. That would be pretty cool. Also, I do believe that we, or kind of like we are past 27,000 numbers of subs right here on the tubers gaming hd channel which is pretty lit so we're heading really fast towards the twenty eight thousand subscriber mark which for me is pretty freaking insane actually i said in the beginning of this year that the goal was one hundred thousand right here on the channel but uh that's a long way to one hundred thousand and it can't have to it's a lot of jobs or a lot of work that has to be put into it. So that's pretty insane. Right here we do have this also, which is cool enough for me. Uh, right here we're going to go ahead and get into the cram bay. So let's go ahead and find the mod section right here of the tippers, which should be pretty easy to be or pretty easy to find. I think I went past them. We have them right here. I think we're going to just take a standard one right here. I'm not going to modify this right here and a standard one of this one and a standard one of the big body S. The big body S right here is pretty insane. And then we can go ahead and take just this right here. Um, we can go ahead and take Michelin, that's the tires. And that's potato, the kartoffel kipper, which is pretty cool. Change color. You can actually change the color to black. Uh, main color. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a one or oh, you can also change this to black right here Black rims black everything. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this right away Then we're gonna go ahead and take the little one or the one that's a little bit bigger 
40,900 liters, I think I'm gonna go with. Wheel setup, uh, wheel brand, design, cranberry logo. Yeah, 100 years, that's the one that we need. Uh, and we need design color black. We need rim color to be black too. And we need the main color to be black if I can get over there. Change the color to all blacked out. We're gonna go ahead and buy this right away. Also, we're gonna take the big one, which is the big buddy S. Right here, we need a uh, 46 liters Michelin wheel setup with white tires. We're just gonna go ahead and do this. Main color, gonna change that to black. Gonna change the design color to black. And we're gonna take the rim color once again to all blacked out, which is insane. Right there, we're gonna go ahead and buy that. And then I need a tractor to actually pull these big wagons with. So I'm going to go to tractors and I'm going to go to large tractors indeed. Because I think the Fint 1050 would, the, would actually be the ideal one to pull this. Because I think maybe you can actually get it in a black colorway, which I surely hope for. And that's the one or that's why I need this. So we're going to take wheel brand, trailer board. It's going to be, yeah, trailer board standard. It's going to be white tires. It's going to be... It's gonna be this right here, the Fint Vario. It's gonna be the 1050, which is the biggest one. Gonna take the main color to be black. Gonna take the design color to be black. And we are also gonna go ahead and take the rim color of the tires or wheels to be blacked. So it's all blacked out right there. And that's one we're gonna go ahead and buy. Pretty freaking sick. So we're in it right here to win it, I <laughs> know. But it is as it is right here. These are the the ones, this is the potato one, this is the middle one, and this is the big body right there without any like additional thing. Here we have it like blacked out, the potato one. Here we have it additional, like 42,000 liters and the 46,000 liters right there. So the black ones is obviously the ones that is like looking most impressive if you ask me. And uh, of course, when I say this, this is my pure opinion. So you can bear over with me. And you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of the tippers right here with the Fint 1050. Um, and I do believe that it is gonna be pretty insane when I'm gonna pull this out right here. We're gonna take the middle run right there. Here we have it. That's the why is there potatoes in this tipper right here? It simply just look. I mean, like it just looks that there was some potatoes. No, it's not potatoes, it's just a nerd, actually. I have to apologize for my unnecessarily comment right there. That's the security net, okay. <laughs> dope enough, dope enough, cuz really, that's uh, that's okay, I think. That's really okay. We're gonna jump into the 1050 right here, and you can see it has like these yellow things right here in front of it, these stickers. Yeah, and also in there, we have some yellow stitches to it I think in there on the back there's some stickers around this and the cranberry do have some some yellow stickers to it also so that's pretty impressive that's pretty freaking impressive I think that this cranberry thing right here the cranberry tibber is one of the kind of maybe most anticipated tibbers out there I don't know but you guys could probably let me know. Here in Denmark, uh, I've seen one of the big buddy 900S tippers and they are insanely huge. There's some pretty freaking big stuff uh, for that, that 900 tipper S. That's, yeah, um, I just have to say that's just impressive to see that it is as big as it is, of course. So uh, that's just something that I want to pay attention to of course uh, if you go ahead and actually take a look at the fin 1050 in front of the big body s right here um, big body 900 s it just looks more impressive but i think actually the smaller one fits perfectly or more perfectly together alongside with the the, the fin 1050 this might be just a little bit too big. I don't know what you guys think about it, but let me know down under if this is just too big for it or if this is actually okay. I, I, I cannot kind of conclude on that, but I think that this is just a little bit of, of, of what can you say, like overkill? Maybe that's the word, I don't know. 
but um, yeah, I think that this is actually a little bit too much. Of course, we can also go ahead and take like the um, um, what can you say, like the smaller one, like the potato tipper right here, and actually put that in front of it. Uh, go ahead and see what that will look, what that would look like. So what we're gonna go ahead and do right here is basically we're gonna pull this on right there. And we do have it right here. And we're gonna go ahead and see this might look a little bit too small though. This might look a little bit too small. Uh, but still it's a pretty okay setup, uh, I have to say. Like it's a really it's a really good looking setup. Okay, so oh Jesus. Uh, indeed it is. And uh, that's dope enough for me actually. The Katuffel, the Katuffel Kipper, Big Buddy 740, pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's basically gonna be it for this very certain video. I just want to say once again thanks for you guys on coming through on this video, and thanks for watching to Burst Gaming HD. If you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, you should definitely go ahead and be one by clicking the red button under this video. And also, if you think this is a great thing. Uh, you should definitely go ahead and hit up the thumbs up for this and uh, yeah without further ado I think we should just go ahead and end this video thanks for watching and thanks for coming through as always bye guys bye